Hello and welcome back to Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. This is now episode two and our first level is a pain in the ass because this is not actually a racing level. You have to collect coins before time runs out. And with the coins having to be, you know, with having such a small hitbox, that can be a pain. Okay, we got all those. Don't need to go back out on that ramp. There are other ramps, though. Okay, so. so, is it every coin, or... Is there su- yeah, I believe it is actually every coin. There won't be any left over. Test Track was a slightly disappointing ride, I felt. Like, sure, it was fast, but... I don't know, it was just kind of bland. I haven't been on the new version. It's been since early 2009 since I went on Test Track. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of boring. Radiator Springs Racers, however, at California Adventure, is fucking fun. And I kind of don't like the Cars movies. I mean, they're fine. I actually th was okay with Cars 2. I know everybody hated Cars 2, but... It was more or less like... Is it any worse than Cars 1? I don't think so. Okay, maybe a slight bit worse, but... Whatever. I didn't care for Cars to begin with. So I didn't have a high... I didn't have high hopes. Oh, then of course I found out how badly it did on Rotten Tomatoes, which... I don't know. On one hand, I do trust Rotten Tomatoes a lot. But on the other hand... Batman vs. Superman... Okay, they can rate it what they want, but Suicide Squad... I think it was at least worth a 60 or 70. I mean, it was not a perfect film at all. Um, and I know they don't have a vendetta against DC. That would just be dumb. Like, no conspiracy shit. Um, oh, cool. It's just... I don't know. I felt that they were really off on Suicide Squad and a little off on Batman Superman 2, but I honestly believe with that one that's open to personal taste. I mean, I guess Suicide Squad could be personal taste too, but, you know, like Jared Leto's Joker. I was not disappointed with his performance per se, I was disappointed with how he was written. You know, I, I, I just... I, I didn't like the character for reasons that were beyond his control. Um, but yeah, I thought there was at least enjoyable enough moments in that. Soundtrack? Soundtrack was pretty good. Alright, uh, where are we going? Where are we going now? Seriously, where are we going? Oh, Rock and Roller Coaster, which this game has no mention of Aerosmith. If you have, if you noticed, um, of course the ride is Rock and Roller Coaster, or Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster, or Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith, something like that. But of course they weren't gonna bother getting the rights for that with this game, so it's just some generic rock-ish music. Level's not terrible. Actually, kind of looks a lot like the ride. Kinda. You can't really see the track. Like, Space Mountain, yeah, you can see the track. Rock and Roller Coaster? Not really. Shit, I just boosted right over that one lunch. Oh, and 
Uh, for those that don't know, which, you know, I don't know, in Rock and Roller Coaster, for the longest time in the pre-boarding video, uh, Steven Tyler gave the shocker. It had been that like that for 20 years or so? Not until this year, 2016. I don't know when this is going to be released. Definitely 2017. Yeah, anyways, 2016, they finally removed the shocker. Thing is that it was totally cool for the video for 20 years. If you gave it on the ride, you could not see your picture. You cannot purchase it, or they would not even show it to you. And of course, I tried it on multiple occasions, just to be shit. Like, now I believe I'm too mature for that, but... It's just the irony that they'd allow it in their video, but not allow it in your picture. I mean, they fixed it now, so that's... Null and void, you know. The irony's gone. Though 20 years or however long it took. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck you, dude. What hit me? God damn it. Miss the item. I don't really need those right now. Oh shit. Spin out over that. This is not a bad level for the drift. I mean, I still gotta keep tight control, but. Oh fuck yeah. Except I just launched it at a wall. That really respawned quick. I think hitting that wall sealed my fate. I will not be catching up. Guess those crazy critters were a little too okay. fast for you. Just try again. I I think we can do it. It wasn't a terrible level. Although it seems no shortcuts. Although, there were a few flat areas, so maybe. Or a few areas where you're not really on the track. Amanda Sparkle. So I need to keep my eyes peeled for shortcuts. As a kid, I had the patience to beat this game, but... And since I'm playing this on show, I will finish it. I just... I've never been able to... I, when I've revisited this as an adult, I've never been able to. I didn't see any shortcuts there. What about up here? Possible. Pay attention to the map. Looks like everybody's going as expected. Nothing. Check the left of it next time. Oh, did it? Did that do? Fuck. Two of them remained unaffected? Three! 
Well, fuck. That's half the people. Definitely not a shortcut. Oh. All right, he hit something. Oh, he hit my teacup. When I said that uh, this level kind of looks like a ride, I was totally ignoring the fact that we smashed through a video screen. That never happens in a ride. It's just a track you're rolling, going around, just going fast, and there's a whole bunch of neon street signs. Or not neon, blacklit. With blacklight paint, of course. Oh, come on. No. No! Stop it. Fuck you guys. Come on. Yeah, those crazy critters were a little too fast for you. Just try it. Hey. You think Mario Kart has bad slingshotting? Nah. This game. We're only at 22%. How many times have we had to restart levels? Ah. Oh, hey! So I have a map I could do that, but I don't know why I would do that. I may have known that as a kid, but I forgot it. I always liked the, the games that had the speedometers and all that, but then you just can't see the map. That's way more useful. Ah, fuck. Ah. Uh, what was that about? Yeah, I tried to jump, get a little bit more air with that jump, but no, I like was forced to the right. Slide to the left, slide to the right, crisscross, crisscross, everybody clap your hands. Jesus. Fuck, I just drove right into that one. Oh shit, I'm in third. Fifth. Shit. Aw, oh, that's what I wanted to do. Shit. Come on. Come on. 
at least I'm back in second. Oh, and they hit a... Shit. I never get that... I never get that weapon. It's probably for the person in last. Did they just ran into run into the side of the guitar? Get box. Come on. Wow. That was a clusterfuck. Oh yeah, I am not touching that dude. Look at how far ahead he is. How the fuck? Sorry, I'm just... Thought I saw something and I'm definitely not winning. I was totally wrong. I thought I saw a shortcut that way. It's gotta be something, right? No way this level is without shortcuts. What was that? No, I can't ramp up over those speakers. There's somebody still behind me. That's what's crazy. I believe there's six people. Yeah, there's somebody behind me. Fuck! And still, no, no shortcuts found. serious on coins. I really think it does increase the speed. Fuck. And I missed those completely. I believe there's some on this wall. Fuck. I was going wide when I didn't need to be. There they are. I got one. I'm not good at racing games if it's not apparent. Mario Kart 7 being like, really any of the Mario Karts before 8. I haven't played 8 very much, I'll be honest. I feel like the slingshotting in that one is really bad.
damn it. I know I'm going quiet on this one, but like I said, I'm trying to stay focused. I don't know if I said that exactly. But... Gonna do it again. Alright. So far we're doing okay. I think that was my own teacup too. Although maybe I just did it on an earlier race and they're all blending together now. Really collecting all those green things, or at least as many as I can, is gonna be advantageous, right? Shit, I probably should have ramped up. Fuck. Well, I won anyway. Okay. Fuck. That was not a fun one. Yeah, well, okay, it was actually fine. It just... Nobody I lost off. a lot. Alright, where are we going next? The worst level, even though it's the best ride, is the mansion. Way too many square corners. Wait, I, I, I can't do this. I don't have any lame puns. Oh my god, no, 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 no. <sighs> Fuck. I I'm just gonna go without. Well, you know what? No. It's gonna happen. If I happen to win this one, fat chance, I'm going to leave as is. If I lose this one, but what I mean you guys is, if I lose this one, then shit, that sucks. But I probably will. And if I have to do this again, then I'll have lane puns. Sound good? Oh. Where am I going? I'm definitely going to lose this. Okay, I am exiting to map and retrying it, and if I win this one, no lame puns. If I have to leave this episode off with this level, and I come back, we will have lame puns. And by lame puns, I mean great puns, because all puns are awesome. Excuse me. Burped. I don't think it picked up, but still. Okay, well, I screwed up a little bit, but I'm okay. Ooh, something that's really cool about at least Disneyland's Jungle Cruise is uh, to imitate mangroves, they actually have orange trees that are planted upside down. Isn't that pretty awesome? Like, they planted the trees and the architect, or you know, the 
designer's like, nah, that doesn't look good. And then they planted the orange trees because Disneyland was an orange grove before it was built. Um, so there was plenty of orange trees around. They just put them upside down and a pretty convincing effect. And I believe they're still there to this day. Because I believe plants can actually adapt to that. But I think that the... Uh... Oh, cool. They have a different animation. That's awesome. Anyways, um, the foliage in the jungle is so full now that they're harder to see. Oh, and I'm sure you've noticed that the vehicles have been changing, and this time we have a little jungle cruise um, boat. That's kind of cute. Okay, I wanted... Fuck. It's going spectacularly bad. And I got over that. Nice. Never. place difference. Oh, two. Huh. Shit. What the hell? Jeez, that one really fucked me up. Let's work on how to do that. Okay, that wasn't too hard to ramp up. Alright, so hey, we know for next time. Not quite first place. Give it another try, why don't you? Alright, well, I'll be back with some lame puns. Remember that you are valid. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.